The Republican-led legislature is ready to test Governor Mark Dayton with a bill that would ban Minnesota cities from setting their own minimum wage and paid sick leave rules. The Senate passed the labor bill Thursday on a mostly party-line vote of 35 to 31 following its passage in the House last month. The differences between the Senate and the House versions of the bill will be decided by a small committee of lawmakers before heading to Dayton. Democrats criticized the bill, saying cities should be allowed to set their labor rules. But Republicans argue businesses need uniformity on wage regulations and sick leave policies from city to city. Dayton hasn't taken a firm position on the bill, but says he's concerned about limiting cities' abilities to create policies to fit their needs. I always believe minimum wage should allow people who work 40 hours a week or work full time to make enough money to be at the poverty level, which would be $12.50 an hour. And so we're locking in $9.50 an hour statewide for, and with a slight increase for the inflation uh, every year. And, and so that, that's, a, that's a huge public policy and financial decision that's being made and then imposed and will be very hard to change. The governor also met with Republican House and Senate leadership this morning about coming to a compromise on a state budget. Dayton said he's, he'd like the House and the Senate to merge their budget bills into one version before his administration gets involved in the negotiations. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.